Morning, everyone. It's a minute or two before nine, and this is your Tuesday morning pre-opening comment. It's video number 692, and if you like the work, please hit the subscribe button. Um, we have uh, housing index and case shiller both coming out shortly at nine consumer confidence doesn't come out until 10 and of course this friday even though it's a holiday we have the um, employment numbers for the month uh, asia is mixed europe is slightly higher and as usual archegos is uh, talking about a possible plan have no clue what that actually means. Uh, banks are talking to avoid another, you know, selling frenzy. And uh, Nomura and uh, Credit Suisse are still weak. Canada suspends AstraZeneca. When is this crap going to stop? Every other day, somebody suspends it. Every other day, the company comes out and says, it's okay. So um, I, I, I don't know what to say about it, except that, uh, frankly, I, I can't imagine, and I've said this before, I can't imagine that it's a one-day turnaround on research into whether something is harmful or not. Uh, Foxconn looks like it's going to lose... Uh, down about 12 percent. Uh, Foxconn is the um, Apple uh, vendor that puts together their iPhones. Uh, Apple is slightly lower on the news, but uh, you know, again, I'm not sure what it means. Uh, Tesla down about uh, 12 and a half dollars. Uh, the supply of cells, cell supplies. Uh, are going to, it looks like, hinder their truck rollout this year. Uh, Google updated, pardon me, upgraded at Stiefel from uh, hold to buy. The stock is up $4, which is really inconsequential. Uh, CMG, which is Chipotle, is unchanged. Uh, they have announced, and I don't know whether it's an April Fool's joke or not, uh, they have announced that they're going to give away $100,000 worth of burritos and $100,000 worth of Bitcoin on April 1st for National Burrito Day. And uh, McCormick, the spice company, beat both top and bottom line. The stock is up about $4, which is about 4.4% on earnings. Uh, Dow looks to be down about 65, S&P about 98, uh, pardon me, NASDAQ about 98, S&P down about 16. So um, clearly uh, the issue of the way that uh, the Dow is trading versus the other indexes uh, is uh, continuing to diverge, but uh, we'll see later on in the day. The Dow was up uh, over double what it ended up uh, yesterday, and so it had given back a bunch, and in fact, there were still twice as many stocks down as up uh, on the NYSE, and on the NASDAQ, it was even worse. That's three to one up. Okay, chart on the screen, Nat gas. Uh, we're long this. It looks like it's really trying to... Uh, continue this little bottom making and breakout area a lot of resistance here in the uh, 270 area but uh, it is working its way higher it was higher this morning uh, got up as high as 268.80 currently 264.50 and that's down eight one hundredths of a cent so nothing overwhelming there uh, I do want to show you the gold chart because because gold is getting a shellacking again today, down $31. This is a solid break of the uh, 1700 level. And while I was thinking that we might be able to go higher, I did point out that the five day is going to cross. And in fact, right now it is crossed. Uh, and we are down to an uptrend line that I drew just the other day. Let's take a look so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. 
So we have this uptrend line that we bounced off of about 10 days ago. We're right on it right now, uh, but uh, this really does not look great. It is oversold. It is uh, at support, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to chase it in. I may wait and pay for direction. This red line, which is the... Uh, 100 week moving average is right below where we are now. It's at 1668, and right now we are at 1680. So uh, that's pretty close. I'm just not sure that I want to play it right here. All right, everyone, uh, there's your pre open again. Uh, Dow looks to be down about 60 now, NASDAQ down 98 and the S&P still down about 16. Have a good morning. Be careful out there, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, by the way, we have Dennis Marlowe uh, coming on the radio show today. Uh, I will post in the Discord room uh, the number to call in if you have any questions and how to listen to it online. Uh, definitely, uh, Dennis is uh, a commodity trader, excellent track record and uh, he will discuss um, the why of having a non-correlated asset uh, as part of your portfolio again be careful out there have a good morning and don't forget to subscribe